Off Balance Sheet Assets by Mohamed Mobin Ajmal. Have you ever wondered what off balance sheet assets are? In the world of finance, these are financial assets and transactions that are not reported on a bank's balance sheet but can have a significant impact on its financial position and risk exposure. Today, we're going to dive into five examples of off balance sheet assets for banks, along with some explanations and examples of contracts and financial institutions. First up, we have operating leases. These are rental agreements for equipment or property that don't transfer ownership to the lessee. In the past, operating leases were treated as off-balance sheet assets, but now, under the International Financial Reporting Standards IFRS, 16, they are recognized as right-of-use assets and lease liabilities. Second on our list, we have letters of credit. These are guarantees provided by a bank to a customer to pay a third party if the customer fails to fulfill their contractual obligations. Letters of credit are off-balance sheet assets because they involve a contingent obligation, which means the bank's obligation to pay only arises if the customer defaults. Next, we have derivatives. Derivatives such as forwards, swaps, futures etc. are financial contracts that derive their value from an underlying asset such as a stock, bond, or commodity. Derivatives are off-balance sheet assets because they do not involve actual ownership of the underlying assets. For example, a financial institution may enter into a futures contract with a commodity producer to hedge against the risk of price fluctuations. Fourth on our list is loan commitments. These are agreements to provide loans at a future date if certain conditions are met. Loan commitments are off-balance sheet assets because they involve a contingent obligation. Which means the bank's obligation to lend only arises if the borrower meets certain conditions. And finally, we have securitized assets. These are when banks package and sell loans or other assets to investors through securitization. Securitized assets are off-balance sheet assets because they involve the transfer of ownership of the underlying assets to the investors. So there you have it. 5 examples of off-balance sheet assets for banks. Although they're not reported on a bank's balance sheet, they can still have a significant impact on a bank's financial position and risk exposure.